Welcome back to uh, our special coverage. Namaste, Obama. Now, before the break, we were looking at the whole question of how Mr. Modi had successfully used this uh, visit of President Obama for, in a sense, uh, building his own image as well as building the image of the country and how it would play out in domestic politics. Sanjay Jha, you seem to be in a minority at the moment when you say that Mr. Modi is going over the top and is using this deliberately to uh, project himself politically. The diplomats say, what's wrong if a prime minister uses foreign policy achievements to, uh, to in a sense, build his image? Indira Gandhi did it. Uh, Rajiv Gandhi did it for a while. You never allowed Narsimha Rao to take the benefit, even if he tried to do it. And, uh, you know, Manmohan Singh could well have done a better job of marketing his foreign policy achievements. What's wrong if Narendra Modi markets them successfully? Well, I, I know I absolutely I'll agree with that. I think if Mr. Modi is marketing himself, he's got every right to do so. And, and that is not something that we are questioning. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there is something called as, as what I call as, as calibrated and, and more politically appropriate way to sell yourself. I, I, I thought, for example, he can hold press conferences. When he went to America, I think he was amongst perhaps the only prime minister on a visit to the U.S. where he never held a press conference. But, you know, when you go to a Madison <laughs> Square Garden, you know, to my mind, Rajdeep, you were there, you were covering that event. But I have, I have, we have all been to New York several times. I have been to the Madison Square Garden. But when I saw that image of Mr. Modi and, you know, their entire razzmatazz of what was going on, you know, I think even Barack Obama today joked about it when he called him a Bollywood star. But the truth is, I thought that was in the kind of packaging that I think a prime minister at a certain point needs to display sobriety. You're representing a country where even today as we talk, there are 70% of India struggles to make a good living. And for that kind of, uh, you know, I would say, forget the expenditure. But I think the whole experience to me was, was extremely unbecoming of a prime minister to be part of. No, so you, you know, he you're might saying, have got mileage for you're it. You're saying think Narendra Modi needs to show but more sobriety in his diplomatic, in, in his diplomacy. Is there, is there any basis for that? Why? I mean, uh, different politicians are different. Some are more this flamboyant is, this is and sour. some are by this nature more reticent. This is sour this is grapes. This is sour yeah. grapes. Yeah. I yeah. mean, let's be clear. <laughs> you, know, the, the, you know, different individuals have different personalities. No, true, but the danger of, with such theatre is that tomorrow Americans take some step. Vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis Pakistan, vis-a-vis -vis your neighborhood, even vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis China. Mm -hmm. They go and engage the Chinese because mm -hmm. don't forget, they will engage. Each person will dance with each other person. Mm -hmm. So don't think this is an exclusive date with Mr. Obama. So you're saying the, Amer the Americans are very clear. They will have multilateral they, they will course, have, they, you know, the relationship with China. As, they will will keep we, as will we. As will we. Mm -hmm. True. So the tr trouble with this kind of exuberance is it sets up the Chinese heckles. They mm -hmm. take countermeasures. Mm -hmm. It sets up tremors amongst those who don't like it mm -hmm. and sets up an expectation in India that from hence onwards everything is hunky-dory with America and America will only work in Indian interests. That, that, that may always, or may not happen. Is that always the worry with Narendra Modi? Whether it's domestic issues, Ache din aayenge, now he will say, India and America, my friend Barak. Next thing, yes. as, as, as KC Singh says, what if the Americans tomorrow go and give you know, a, a $500 million let's, deal let's not economic let's uh, not package to the Pakistan? They will. They will. No, Which no, they will, he let's, says. Let's, let's Where not, does that leave Barak? Let's not underestimate our politicians. Mm -hmm. I'm reasonably certain we also have a line of communications with the Chinese. Mm -hmm. We also are now sending China a message mm -hmm. that if you play games on our neighborhood, like you did in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. like you did in Pakistan, mm -hmm. like you are doing with your maritime silk route to surround us, mm -hmm. then you will face a certain counteraction. So this has to be matched with your own diplomacy with China. We're talking of measured. Okay. Where where is where do you draw? I the don't line? I don't no, see no, no, anything who, who, who which is decide, not measured. Who decides what is political theater exactly. and what is measured? That's exactly. the question. No, no, where no. does diplomacy that become the, political right. theater? Right. I mean, what is that level at which diplomacy yeah. becomes exactly. political exactly. theater? Yeah, why, exactly. Why should uh, Prime Minister Modi change his personality? That's right. Uh, in, in order to Please, uh, fit in with uh, what with, uh, with, what, with what Sanjay Jha wants or or Xi Jinping wants, you know. Okay, Sanjay Jha, the consensus is why. Why should the Prime Minister change so that Sanjay Jha Rajdeep. feels that the Prime Minister is practicing sobriety? Second. Surely your definition of sobriety and Narendra what? Modi's definition of sobriety, there's a huge difference. See, secondly, yeah, just a minute. Let me, let, I'll tell let, you for one start. reason. I'll tell you for one reason, Rajdeep. Yes. Rajdeep, for one reason. Eight months is a considerable period of time. 
and you know I can give you a laundry list of issues, but Mr. Modi has flattered. I, I, I need this to scene. come in here, Rajdeep. I, I think you've people given a voted, floor to Rasanjay Jha. There are a lot of people who have voted for him. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of people who have voted for him who perhaps might extend that honeymoon for a period of time. Yes. But the truth is that he has not delivered. There's been no tangible, what I call as measurable performance that you can really applaud him for. Can I? Can and I get Jibhi and Nasimara? Jibhi and Nasimara is upset. No, that is more substance. Than he is. Substance he, is it, taken a backstage. It's a bit a like the Congress. No, this time in no, reverse. The Congress is upset. Narendra Modi I, gets I, too I much of air time. And I think at the moment, GVL Narsimha Rao is chafing at the bit that you're getting more air time. So GVL, I'm going to give you a, a, a no. word in before I take a break. Yes. Is your, is your Prime Minister no, no. doing see, political theatre with diplomacy? No, I think Prime Minister has shown exuberance in his all foreign policy engage, all foreign policy engagements mm -hmm. he has shown a muscular foreign policy uh, um, uh, uh, angle to his own diplomacy he is not going to take suggestions from a failed congress party or failed congress politicians okay. i think he is there he is a politician in his own right and he knows what is in the best interest of his own politics and that of country. Okay. I think do, we don't need Congress parties uh, 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 un, un, unwanted or unsolicited advice. Okay. And this is actually this, is, this advice to Manmohan Singh and, yes. and has really landed our foreign policy in a great mess. Okay, I think well, where was our Indo-US Indo uh, Indo foreign policy no, about no, no, a year ago? No, what no, was no, the no, state no, of our, our no, situation? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to say this. That I think, I think you're being very unfair and I think the BJP at times has been extremely unfair to Manmohan Singh on foreign policy. There are a number no, no, of but absolute... You, no, but you... Sanjay Jai did not have given any comments. Absolutely no question. Yes. You won't have to deal today. The entire process was initiated by George Bush and Dr. Manmohan Singh. They took it to a certain level. And the fact of the matter is, Foreign policy does have a certain amount of continuity which transcends government change. Okay. Because foreign policy, thank God in this country, is very largely based on a national consensus. And I was really frankly surprised when there were people actually questioning the nuclear deal which ended global nuclear sanctions against us. Let me then take a break. I'll, I'll let you, Narsimha Rao, get a final word when I give the final break. But remember, Prime Minister Modi has been called a Bollywood star. Today, by President Obama, in a sense, there's another Bollywood. Uh, there's a not Bollywood. There's another star this Sunday. That's Wing Commander Pooja Thakur. She is the first woman who is uh, who has led the Guard of Honor, the Tri Services Guard of Honor, at the Rashtrapati Bhavan forecourt when President Obama arrived. Gaurav Savant caught up with her. We'll listen in to a little bit of that and then come back for final comments from all our panelists who've had a very long Sunday. I wish the Prime Minister took at least Sunday off. Back in a moment talks about the U.S. President Barack Obama's historic India visit. There is one glass ceiling that was shattered today. And with me is Wing Commander Pooja Thakur, the Tri-Services Guard of Honor you presented to President Barack Obama. You were the Guard Commander. What was that like? Oh, being the Guard Commander for an inter-services uh, Guard of Honor and that too for Mr. Barack Obama, I'm sure it was a very proud moment for the Indian Air Force and for myself also. What was the training like? Uh, how were you chosen for this? Uh, you being chosen for this and, and what was the training like? The training as such, uh, actually, uh, when you say training, I think it becomes a bit level of induction, wherein we all are ingrained with the, you know, with marching and with ceremonials and parade and physical fitness and things like that. But yes, when events like these are announced, then you have specific Mr. training. Obama, on a day when the U.S. president has arrived in India on a three-day visit, the first U.S. president to arrive to become a state guest at the Republic Day Parade. Live coverage of that starts 7 a.m. tomorrow morning here. And remember the parade itself around 9 a.m. And we'll have minute-by-minute minute coverage of that here on Headlines Today. A big day in the Indo-U.S. relationship. But I want my panel of special guests to summarize that day. And I'm going to start with you, Ajay. Should I be looking at this four-page joint statement and seeing the, the achievements in the, uh, in, in the detailing of, of the joint statement? Should I be seeing it in the atmospherics? in the fact that the Prime Minister's calling uh, is reaching out to the U.S. President in an almost unprecedented manner. How do, how, where should I be looking for the big takeaway at the end of this day? I think if one evaluates it on the basis of a laundry list of deliverables, mm -hmm. one will be looking at only one small dimension of the visit. Mm -hmm. The big message over here mm -hmm. is the strategic convergence of India and the United States. Remember in 2005 when Dr. <coughs> Manmohan Singh had gone there and, mm -hmm. and had that big signing ceremony, the first outcome of that was 
that China agreed to sign the guiding principles on the, on the border settlement and to agree that the settled populations on both sides, the interest will... You know, the effect on China was almost immediate. Do you see that happening today as well? There is no question, as Partha mm -hmm. was saying, all of this is being seen, all of this is being evaluated, the strategic convergence of India and America, regardless of whether you actually use those words or not, is evident. It's playing out in front of the world. So therefore, you've got, Casey, in that sense, uh, you know, whether you use the word containment, whether you use the word yep. sending out a kind of message to China today, the Indian Prime Minister and the US President have been rather successful. There is, as, as he said in his interview to India today, our stars are slowly getting aligned. And therefore, we can see ourselves as potential natural partners of the 21st century. Except there won't be any permanent alignment because you'll have to realign them with various other countries. And it's a floating game. So therefore, for uh, example, on WTO... You can't be an ally. So, no, so, so therefore, there will be from time to time issues, whether it's climate change, yeah. whether it's clean energy, whether it's WTO, yeah. whether, it's, on, whether it's opening up our markets. Those issues will still remain yeah. very much on the table. You see, four of them. IPR, they push the can down the street by saying yes. there's a working group which will look into it. Yes. Climate change, I thought Prime Minister was very good. Yes. Because he took away that question and he said there is no pressure on me, but the pressure is of posterity. I thought that was very good the way he framed it. Yes. So he is, it was over time that we stepped away from Kyoto and the mantra of saying shared but differentiated responsibility. I think yes. the world is not going to accept it beyond a point. Yes. So he started moving India away from its traditional uh, status quo is position on climate change and start introduce. So he staved off US pressure mm -hmm. and also sent a signal to India. His Swachh Bharat, his clean rivers, all that is playing. You see, this is where domestic and international are converging okay. on that one. Similarly, on, uh, on the nuclear thing, I think any strong prime minister would have done it. BJP is the one who were opposing it. Supposing the previous government had done it, mm -hmm. they would have made you and cry. You brought the uh, owners back on Indian firms. But because he has a majority, because the opposition is not able to press him, he's done it. It's a good step. Otherwise, you will not get the technology uh, and others will accept it. Could we, could we have got a little bit more on Pakistan in terms of commitments? I mean, you know, we've discussed China. Do you, I, I, I mean, do you I, believe I, that there I, will I, be I, those who will say, what are we getting out of this when it comes to our genuine concerns I, about Pakistan? I, I think and the U.S. has gone as far as they can. They are putting huge pressure on Pakistan with regard to the, uh, the Lashkar-e Taiba, the Jaish-e Mohammed, and so on. That pressure we should continue to keep on them. Naming the D company as they did in September is a good thing, uh, because uh, he's the, um, Dawood still continues to live comfortably in Karachi. Don't forget. But we're not that, going to get Dawood. No, no, back, just, just a minute. I mean, D like, company, you, 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 D, D company for years. No, they has been the financial change. Yeah, no, the D company for years has been on the watch list mm -hmm. of both the Drug Enforcement Agency and the FBI in the United States. Yes. So now that will tighten, okay. it will definitely tighten. So I don't think, you know, when we start making Pakistan the very centrality of our interaction with the US, we demean ourselves. It Has that changed? Has that changed? Is yet another step I think Pakistan is, Pakistan is put itself in an awful position mm -hmm. of universally now and being acknowledged as a haven of terrorists. So oh, people are openly talking of terrorist havens. That's right. Which so, they weren't so, so the safe haven comment in that yeah. is so I, 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 Yeah, I think we should, we should, if you notice, neither of them spoke about Pakistan. Just they obliquely referred to terrorist havens. Good thing. Uh, my concern really is, and where we need pressure on uh, Obama, yes. is that what is the role you are going to give to the Taliban working at Pakistan behest? Okay. That will affect our interests. But it's something which can go. More importantly, he did. all this is having some impact. I do believe that they will retain a residual air presence and air support for the Afghans. He said even as much. He, yeah. Which he said as much. I'm yeah. going to give a final word to you, uh, Kaval Sibal. I, you know, I hate this, but we have to do it. How would you rate day one? A success, moderate success, in terms of uh, his equation with uh, President Obama, I would give him 9 out of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, what has been achieved during the visit, I would give uh, 6 out of 10. Uh, but overall, uh, if you take everything together, I think 7, 7.5 would be a good score. 7, 7.5. And, and coming from a diplomat, that's a lot. 7.5 mm -hmm. on 10 clearly suggests that Prime Minister, Manmo, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, did I say Prime Minister Manmohan Singh for a moment? <laughs> really the past still haunts some of us. See, he has changed the perception okay. inside and outside the country of uh, India-US relations. Okay. And, and this is a very important signal he is giving to everybody, both friends and adversaries. Okay, Sanjay Jha, I'm afraid. One last, one last yes. quick comment. Sure. 
Remember coming into this summit, everybody was saying defense and security is going to be the big thing in this summit. And it's almost not being spoken of right now. The defense framework agreement has been signed, but that's basically just a rolling on of the Yeah, but we will agreement. know more specifics of that in the months ahead, presumably. Uh, no, this is an ongoing, it's a work in progress. Procedures and bureaucracies are being aligned. You'll see the results of this much further down the road. Okay. One interesting thing, Rajesh, yes. there is no reference to Iran in this uh, joint statement, which is a good thing. Okay. Okay, so we've got plenty which is good and positive that's come out, seven, seven point, but I'm not going to let my politicians respond now because I know Sanjay Jha, you'll probably give it a three or a four and I presume that GVL Narsimha Rao will give it 10. 11 on 10. <laughs> so, since politicians... No, no, are, no, no scoring. Rajdeep. Yes. Rajdeep. Yes. I, I'm, not I'm not giving any scores. Okay. You are expert, uh, your, pro uh, your you professionals have done that. Okay. I think president, president... Yes. Oh, I think one comment I'd like to make, yes. Prime Minister Mr. Modi occupies yes. President's mind space considerably. Okay. I think that's a great policy success. That's, that's a great that's success awesome. because you have now I, phrases okay, he, like he Chai occupies, Pe Chircha, he certainly Chai Pe occupies, Chircha, Saad Saad Chale, Okay, Saad Saad, Saad, Saad Chale, Chale, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas. These okay. have become now a part of uh, Obama. That's what lexicon. I meant, Rajiv. That's what I meant. They use foreign policy for domestic marketing. I think Narasimha Rao okay, has okay. established and corroborated okay. exactly what Okay, Sabka Saad, Obama ka haan. Sabka Saad, Obama ka haan. Okay, we are giving a slogan perhaps for the Delhi elections. You might, who knows, you might see posters of uh, Narendra Modi and the US President creep up on during the campaign here in Delhi. Still 10 days to go away from that. But all is fair, some would say, in love, politics and diplomacy. On that note, thanks very much for joining us on what's been a long Sunday. It's time for some of us to take our Sunday break. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., Republic Day coverage starts here on Headlines Today. Thank you very much.